All right, so we're back in Vex Code VR, and we have our code here. Uh, if you're just if you're just jumping into this video, go ahead and just create the code as you see it on the screen. Okay, and notice that the repeat is a little bit tricky. So basically, you take you know a block of code here and you drag it into the repeat and drop it, and then you can just put it on here. Okay, so so we have this repeating set of code. And let's say that, um, let's say that, um, well, let's just take a look at how it's running right now. So, so if you don't have this yet, just go ahead and pause, recreate this code, uh, and then go ahead and run it uh, with us. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click start. And we'll do our above view. So here we have, we have our, we've gotten our robot to our uh, first position. That's this first set of code, the start position. And then we're gonna go ahead and repeat four times, one time for each side of the square, okay? Okay, so so the way that we have um, the way that he, we have made each side of the square, we use this repeat a number of times. We use repeat, you know, repeat ten here. We change the ten to a four, one time for each side of the um, one time for each side of the uh, square. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use a bit of a different type of loop. Okay, so we want to our our end goal here is to make the each side of the square a different color, right? So, um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and change the type of loop, okay? So we're going to go ahead and drag over the while loop. So go to while, drag over while, okay? Um, drag out our repeat, our block of code, drag it out of the repeat, drag it into the while loop, okay? And then we're gonna take the while loop, drag it over and put it on. We're going to click onto the repeat loop. Whoop. We're gonna drag the stop driving back over and then get rid of the repeat loop. Okay, so here we have our while loop, but what we're missing in this little, um, what is that, it's a hexagon there, is, uh, is that we're missing our condition. Okay, so, so basically the condition says, um, you know, we're gonna do, we're gonna repeat while something is true. Okay, and this is called a Boolean value, right? So. It's it's the it's a ghost's favorite kind of variable. It's a boolean. So, uh, <laughs> okay, that's programming humor. So, uh, okay, so we have while and uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put in our condition. All right, and our condition is going to uh, is going to be a less than, equal than, greater than, something like that. Okay. Um, so, uh, and we can do get a little bit more complicated. We can do two conditions, right? So, so um, in order to do this, we're gonna go ahead and need a variable, all right? So let's go ahead and make a variable. And let's go ahead and click make a variable. And we're gonna call our variable counter, okay? Because it's gonna be counting our while loop. It's gonna be counting the number of times that our while loop goes around. So let's go ahead and click submit. And notice that now counter is right here, okay? All right, so we have our counter value. All right, um, so the first thing we need to do uh, is that we're going to go ahead and uh, and set our counter to a value. Okay, so in this case, we, we've we made counter, right? Now it's available in our dropdown right here, right? So before we start our while loop, we're going to set our counter to zero, all right? And that's basically, we're saying we're taking zero and we're putting it in a box, and that box has a label on it called counter. Does that make sense? Imagine you have a cardboard box and you're holding it in your hands. And in front, on the front, front of that cardboard box is a label that says the word counter. Okay, that's the name of the box, right? And you're taking um, the value of zero, the number zero, and you're putting it into that box. Does that make sense? So now counter is equal to zero right? Counter the box, the variable, is equal to whatever is inside the box. Doesn't matter what's inside, it's equal to whatever is inside the box. So our variable counter, you've, you have the box in your hands, you put zero into the box, and, uh, and now counter is equal to zero. Okay, so set counter equal to zero. All right, so counter is equal to zero, okay? And we want to make counter, in the end, we want counter, we want to uh, have a condition based upon the value of counter. All right, so um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna drag over this condition. So is equal to, see this equal, see how it fits? 
You see how this is like a hexagon right here and there's a hexagon hole there in the while? We're gonna drag over this condition and we're gonna drop it right into the while loop, all right? Okay, now unfortunately we put equals and I didn't want equals, we're gonna drag it back over, okay? And we're gonna put in less than, okay? So we're gonna drag over the less than sign and we're gonna put um, is less than four, okay? So, and we wanna say that we want the loop to run while counter is less than four. Does that make sense? Okay, so we've set the counter, we've, we've made our variable, a variable called counter, okay? We've, which is a box, our imaginary box with the word counter, with the label counter on it. We put zero into the box called counter, right? That's our variable counter is equal to zero. We want this code, the code inside this code right here, we want this code to repeat as long as counter is less than four. So as long as this comes back as true, so we ask the question, so this, this right here is a question this, inside this, this, uh, this hexagon, and the question is, is counter less than four? Is counter less than four? Answer, yes. Is counter less than four? Yes, it is, yes, that's true. Counter is less than four, right? Because counter is zero, right? So if we went ahead and ran this, so let's go ahead and try it, let's run it, all right? So, so let's go ahead and click start. And let's run it. And I'm 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 gonna tell you that I'm tricking you, right? So so it's running now. So now it's you know it, it just did a first run. It's now back up at while counter right now. It says, oh, is counter less than four? Yep. And so it runs it again. It goes back up to the top. Hey, is counter less than four? Well, it is still less than four. It's still zero, right? So it runs the code again. Hey, is counter less than four? Yep. It still is less than four. It runs it again. Take a guess. How long would this continue to loop as it is right now? Well, it would loop forever because we set the counter equal to zero. We told it to loop this code. We said, hey, repeat this block of code. You know, set pen color to black, drive forward 800 millimeters, turn left 90 degrees. And we said, hey, repeat that code as long as counter is less than four. Okay, so what do we need to do? What, what do we need to do in order to have this? We only want this to draw a square. We don't want to redraw the square an infinite number of times, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna close this for now. And so what we need to do is we need to what's called increment our counter, right? And that means that we need to change the value of the counter inside the loop. Okay, so let's go ahead over and see under variables, we say change counter by one. Okay, we could select any of the variables we, uh, we, um, we have made, we can select here, but we're gonna go ahead and say change counter by one, okay? And this, this says change, but it really means um, add, right? Okay, so, uh, so we could do this another way, right? And I, I think we kind of have a better way to do it. Okay, so let's, instead of changing counter by one, that seems a little bit risky to me because I don't know what change means. <laughs> so, so what we're gonna do is that we are going to set counter to some value, okay? So we're gonna drag over set counter, okay? And what we are going to do is we're gonna say, hey, set counter to whatever counter is now plus one, okay? So we're gonna say, hey, so we're gonna go up and drag over our operator. And we say, whoop, there we go. And we're gonna say, hey, set counter to whatever counter is now, plus And then we just type in and we put our one. Okay, so, so there we have it. So, we're, so now when we, uh, when we play, right? So now we're used to just loop and loop and loop and loop and counter always stayed at zero and it never got to be, uh, it never, it was always less than four, right? Now each time it loops, so on the first loop, counter will be set to counter plus one. So on the first loop, it will be set to one. It will go back up and check. Hey, is one less than four? Well, that's true, so it goes again, right? It goes down to the bottom. 
Now counter is counter plus one again, so now counter is equal to two. Goes back up, it checks, is, is counter, which is you know now equal to two, is that less than four? Well, true, it's true, so it, it goes again, right? It goes down, counter, which is two. Now counter is counter plus one, right? So now it's three. It goes back up, hey, is, you know, is that less, is three less than four? Well, it's true, so it goes again, right? It goes down to the bottom. Now it's counter, set counter to counter plus one. Now three plus one, that is, you guessed it, that's four. So now it goes back up, it says, hey, is counter less than four? Well, now counter is not less than four, right? On the, on the fourth time, at the end of the fourth run, counter is now equal to four, right? So this now, that condition will be false. And when it's false, it goes, hey, we're done. The while loop is over. And we're just going to go down to the next line of code, and that next line of code is, is stop driving. So let's go ahead and start that. So we start it. Okay, and let's look from the top. Okay, our first one on counters one. Okay, now counter is two. Now counter is three. Now counter is four. Oh, and it stops. Okay. So, uh, so there we have it, um, and and so that is us using a variable to control our loop. Okay, so where we have a, you know, we've we've defined the variable counter, uh, we set the counter to zero, um, we set the condition in our while loop to be counter is a while to loop as long as counter is less than four, and then we did our increment. We we at the end of the, our loop there we set counter to be whatever counter used to be plus one. So we incremented counter by one. Okay, uh, best of luck.